Hey y'all, it's your girl Lay B and we are by the fire day two of 12 days of Christmas series. Everybody chillax, relax, be calm, be calm, because we're gonna have a story time by the fire with me. Let's talk about that title. You guys kind of already know what's going on. Y'all know I'm the storytelling queen, honey. And I'm going to be telling a story time since it's Christmas time. How my innocence got snatched away from me at a young age. Okay, no, for real, y'all. So, I'm going to be telling a story time on how I found out um, Santa wasn't real when I was little. Um, so now before I get into the story time, I want to just let y'all know what kind of kid I was. Okay, so y'all know, y'all know me, y'all know lady. I have a strong personality. I'm very outspoken. Um, but another thing about me is I'm very curious. I'm, I'm very nosy as an adult. And I was like that as a kid. I was always so curious. Just always so like deep into like everything i took everything deep i always wanted to just get down to the root of whatever before and before i actually get deep into the story time make sure y'all stay tuned for 12 days of christmas on Roz world tv please like comment and subscribe if you guys are new like comment subscribe turn on that bell at Roz world tv and turn on that post notification so you get post so you get notifications whenever Roz world tv posts this is 12 days of Christmas, day two, countdown, okay? So like I was saying, as a kid, I was very, I was very curious. Another thing, my job, my mom was one of those moms, like my mom literally took every single holiday so serious when I was a kid. That's why I said this generation of kids, they, their generation ain't got nothing on ours. Uh, the early 2000s babies, when I say we had the best of everything, we had the best of everything, it's when Christmas was literally Christmas. Like, holidays were really holidays. Um, but yes, my mom, she participated in all of the holidays. She took Easter serious. You know, we decorated Easter eggs. All holidays, my mom always took serious. She always went the extra mile for her kids. So... Let's get into the story time, y'all. So, I was about, I'm going to estimate, I think I was about, I'm going to say eight, no, probably like seven, eight years old when I found out that Santa was not real. Okay. So, what's so crazy is, no, we're going to get into the night. What's so crazy is the night before I found out that Santa wasn't real. Um, you know, I, my mom, the night before, um, it was tradition, we always baked and decorated cookies for Santa. So, um, my mom always, she always had like a few presents, a few presents under the tree, just like, you know, a few. And she's like, you know, these presents are for me. Um, when you wake up in the morning, your presents for Santa will be under the tree, right? Mind y'all, also, um, also, this is kind of a little off topic. Also, I was really deep into the Tooth Fairy. I love the Tooth Fairy. Like, when I say I was so, in, as a kid, I was so in love with the idea of Santa, the Tooth Fairy, all that. Anywho, that's a different story time for a different day. So, the night before, um, me, my mom, and my two siblings, they were babies at the time. Um, so, they weren't really doing it. It was really like, you know, one-on-one with me and my mom. We baked some cookies, we decorated them, and you know, my mom was like, okay, we're gonna set the cookies out for Santa. Da, da, da. We set the cookies out for Santa. There were only a few gifts under the tree. My mom was like, okay, these video these gifts are for me. You know, you get your gift from Santa in the morning. Okay. My mom always had a set time every year. What time I go to bed? I always went to bed no later than 9 30. 9 30 was pushing it. My mom always had me in the bed you know never let that 10, 10 o'clock mark even hit i was already in the bed so my mom had already put my two younger siblings in bed they were babies at the time she had you know put them in the bed and um put me in my bed put my younger siblings down and um you know 
I was in the bed. So she um she would always, you know, like put like my little cartoons on the TV, wait till I went all the way to sleep, and she would always come in the room and check and see if I was asleep. And um that's when you know she would go and do whatever she was doing, which I thought my mom was asleep. Anywho, so one night um I was asleep. Uh, um I ended up going to sleep, but I ended up waking up. Um I ended up waking up like a few hours later. And one thing about me as a kid, I was always scared of the dark. I don't know what it was, but my mom had turned the, the light off and the TV off and the TV and the door was closed. So at this point, when I wake up, I'm freaking out. Like, I, like I'm scared. I'm scared of the dark. So I got up and I went to go flick my light on in my room. So when I flicked my light on, I heard movement, you know, out in the hallway. So I opened my door and I peeked around the corner and my mom was eating the cookies. And I just remember as a kid, I was just like stuck. Mind y'all, my mom never seen me see her. So she did not know that I had seen her. And as a kid, I was just like, I better go and, you know, go lay down because I'm gonna get, my mom was one of the moms, she did not play, she was strict. And she told us to go to bed and we got up at that bed in the middle of the night or anything like that butt was gonna be whooped and that was that i didn't want no whooping so i'm just like oh my gosh oh my gosh i can't believe it mind y'all when i saw her um eating the cookies it kind of confirmed to me that santa was not real mind y'all when she was eating the cookies i had saw like you know like a little paper on the side of the table from the cookies that she was eating so because you know usually you know usually on a regular christmas day i would wake up i would see the note from santa the cookies are gone and that was that so i just remember when i went to my bed i was just like crying i was sad but i didn't want to be loud because i did not want my mom to know that i seen her because i don't want to get no whooping but anywho <laughs> So, um, the next morning, um, I woke up like normal. We went in there like normal. Um, my mom always woke us up like early in the morning. Like when I say early, we used to wake up early, like six, seven o'clock in the morning to open presents. Okay. My mom was a traditional mom. Okay. A1. Love her. Chef's kiss. So I remember, um, I woke up that next morning and, and I just remember what I saw the night before. And um, I remember walking into the kitchen and my mom was like, oh, Santa left you a note. And I remember seeing the note and the cookies were gone. And I remember looking over at the tree. So I remember seeing the gifts under the tree. Um, like I said, the night before, there were only a little bit of gifts under the tree. So I see all these gifts. So I remember walking over to the note and I remember looking at my mom and I was like, I just looked up at her and I was like, mom, is Santa really real? And I remember my mom saying, yes, Santa is real. Santa ate these cookies for you. Santa left all these presents for you. And I was like, okay. And then after that, she said Santa was real. So I was still kind of like in denial about it, right? So I went to school the next day and I remember asking my friends and like a group of people, like a group of um, a group of boys in my class, we were all, you know, just sitting out talking, talking about, you know, Christmas and stuff like that. You know, we were young, I was super young, I was seven, eight. And I remember asking like, do you guys believe in Santa? Yeah, yeah, we believe in Santa and stuff like that. And I remember these group of boys um, that we were in the class with. They were like, y'all really believe in Santa? Y'all know Santa isn't real. Um, you can look it up. You know, Santa isn't real. Santa's not real. And, and I just remember, like, I still didn't believe it. I was still in denial. So I went on my dad's side of the family. Oh, aren't they lovely? And I asked them, is Santa really real? And one of my older cousins, I can't remember who it was. I cannot remember that far back. But they were, I remember them telling me Santa was not real. And that's when I kind of like knew. So as I got older, I'm like, it's older from there. So like 
10, 11. I'm like, Santa really is not real. Crushed my childhood, y'all. Completely crushed my whole childhood. I was so deep into like the holidays and Christmas and super. And I finally accepted after a few years this Santa was not real and I was heartbroken like oh my gosh I cried my little eyes out I wish I can go back and hug my younger self I was so heartbroken I just was like life cannot get any worse than this I was only like eight but um y'all that's basically the end of my story time on how I found out that Santa was not real thank you to my classmates and thank you for my dad's side of the family um for ruining my childhood but anyways that is the end of my story time by the fire with Lay B of day two of the 12 days of Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time and I hope you guys stay tuned for the rest of the countdown for 12 days of Christmas. I love every single one of you guys. And if you guys are new and don't know much about Lay B, please feel free to go and subscribe to my youtube channel that i'm going to put on the screen over here um life as lay b go subscribe like comment and hit that bell so y'all get post notifications whenever big mama posts okay big mama stay tuned we out peace and merry christmas bye y'all